Hello, my name is Jose Rivera and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use MTIT or the MATLAB toolbox for interconnected dynamical systems. The first thing you have to do is you have to go to the MTIT's website and download the zip file. Once you unpack it, you have to go to that file on MATLAB. Then simply by calling MTIT on the command line, you can open the user interface of MTIT. Now on MTIT, you define graphs where each node has a specific dynamics. Then you can export these graphs to Simulink as a model and then simulate these interconnected dynamical systems. You may add nodes by clicking the Add Node button or you may, you may add multiple nodes by clicking the Add Multiple Nodes button. Another way to add nodes is to use the drag and drop system. By holding the Shift key down and clicking on the screen, you can also add nodes. You can move these nodes around, or you can even double click them to see or change their properties. In order to add connections, you can hold the control key down, and while you do that, you click on, two no on the two nodes where you want a connection built. Same principle is used to remove connections. By clicking on the two nodes again, you remove this connection. A big time saver is the topology, are the topologies button, where you can define complete graphs or random graphs. You can also define ring topologies. Once you're happy with the topologies you define, you can export this to Simulink. In this case, we have 10 nodes, where inside each node there is an LTI model. In order to do an example, we're going to add a new type of dynamics. To add a new template of dynamics, you go into the dynamics and then add MDL template. In this case, we're going to add a Kuromoto oscillator in order to simulate the synchronization of fireflies. We can go to dynamics and select the Kuromoto, then we add 10 fireflies, and we make them communicate with each other. Then we export this file into Simulink. And as we can see, we have 10 interconnected Kuromoto oscillators. The next thing to do is to parameterize your model. In this case, I'm going to use a predefined math file for this. We need a decay term, an N term, a natural frequency a starting phase, a threshold, in order to define the blinking of the fireflies. And the next thing to do is to configure the simulation parameters. We're going to let it run for 150 time steps with a fixed time of 0 0.5 to get the real scaling of time. Once you've done all that, you can simulate your model and look at how fireflies synchronize. As you can see from the simulation, First, fireflies were blinking without uh, not in sync, and at the end they synchronize. Thank you very much for your attention. This was a quick tutorial on MTITs.